Good day. Today we have an Eero Wi-Fi system, and this is an Eero Wi-Fi router, but I'm looking to do an extender. I already have a router connected to my modem. I have a surf internet. It's one gig up and down. Works fantastic, but I have some areas that are kind of far out. I'm using a worker bridge to connect, and that works great, but I'd like to do kind of a mesh. And if you look this up, you'll see they, they sell extenders, Wi-Fi extenders. So basically, it looks just like this. And what it does, you like plug you plug it in, plug in the power. You don't need an Ethernet cable, and it connects back to your router. So it extends your Wi-Fi, makes the mesh. And they do sell kits with three of these. But those are priced. They're like about 70 bucks. If you look at the router, it does the same thing. And this one was like under 50 bucks. Not a bad deal. And this one's like does 500 megs. So not too bad for 50 bucks. And you say, well, what's the difference? There is none, except this one has Ethernet port, actually two Ethernet ports, where the extender has no Ethernet ports. You just plug it in, turn it on, connect to your router. This one has some Ethernet ports, so what's kind of cool about it, you can connect up another switch or a device straight into here and have, you know, Ethernet connectivity. So that's kind of cool. And so you, if you have some devices that, you know, like a camera that has Ethernet cable, you can plug into, your, into this guy and plug straight into it without Wi-Fi. And it is kind of confusing. If you read their website, it says, oh, you know, this kind of does this, this, but it does it do it as an extender. So the difference between the extender and this is this has an Ethernet port or two Ethernet ports. The extender does not. So we're going to hook this bad boy up to you. So we'll just crack her open. Got Mr. Knife here. So this is the first extender I bought. And when I connected the modem, very simple. You download the app, connect it, and away it goes. I think it did some firmware updates. Uh, so it did reboot once or twice. So I assume this will probably do a firmware update, but I'm not too worried about that. I just want to extend. And I'm going to walk you through it. This is the first time I did it, so I think it's going to be kind of fun. And I know it's very easy. If it's easy to connect in the router, router this is going to be just as easy. So let's see what... How do you open this guy up? Oh, here we go. And I tell you what, when Amazon bought this company, I thought, well, I wonder what they're going to do with it. Uh, they kept the name, and I tell you what, it's very nice stuff. This is very simple. Uh, the only bad thing about this, they do sell a subscription for their their uh, plus, so you can get some more information, like you can do some more some more fine tuning and get some more detailed information about you know what's happening on your network. Not too worried about that, but you don't you do not need that at all. So you can just get the little router. Of course, there's the two Ethernet ports and the USB port for power. Let's see. It's a welcome. Open this card to get started. Come on, baby. I'll just take that over there. And here's your Ethernet cable. I think it said it comes with a Ethernet cable. And it does. Oh, we're not going to use that. But it's not that they, nice that they put that in there. So let's plug this in. We'll get the app on the phone started, and we'll connect this. Okay, I got the cable. Let's plug them in. Nice USB-C, either way, up or down. And it does have a small light. You see here the light here. So let's go to the app and connect to it. Okay, so bring up the app in the very top right-hand corner. You see a plus. Click on the plus. That's going to add a device. And we're going to add a device. And we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi device. That's my Wi-Fi. So you can pick in your Wi-Fi there. Add your device. You're going to see a lot of menus going to pick through here. Pretty self explanatory. Turn on the Bluetooth. Yes. It's going to detect it. I'm going to give it a name or a location. I'm going to call it the office. You can do a custom if you want. I'm just going to call mine office. And now it's going to go through and detect it. And it's going to give some hints. Hey, here's where you might want to place it. Don't put obstructions in the way, that kind of thing. going to test the placement. It says it looks good. Might have to move yours around if it doesn't. And finish. And we're done. Now it's going to go through and ask you, to, hey, let's update the firmware. Most likely you're going to have to update the firmware. And it takes a few minutes to update. And that basically that's it. You can see here's the office arrow and away you go. Very simple. There you go. That's how you set up the Euro. Very simple. Nice device for the price. You really can't go wrong. It has two Ethernet ports on the back. And what's kind of the advantage of that, if you have some device that doesn't have if a Wi-Fi, like an old computer, you know, a desktop computer, you can plug straight in the back of there. Uh, this is going to our office, so this is going to work out really good. Simple setup. Nice device. Great system. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.